Alright, hello everybody. Um, I'm just doing my three week um, post boob job update and I'll add it on to the four week or you know the five week one. I'm just going to do a quick one and then just do one clip. Um, just quickly to let you know, um, just so that you know what to expect if you're going to go through a boob job, my left side, oddly enough, has been feeling sore here. So, like a, tight, a tightness, like a pulled muscle, especially by the end of the day. Um, lately and um, the left side has been a lot more tender than the right I believe that this is normal and I don't know if you can see here let me just get my hair out the way you can see this is the right side this is the left I think it's what opposite on the video I'm not sure anyway and you can see that the left side is still higher than the right the left side is still more swollen and firm the right one is a lot softer it feels a lot more natural already the left seems to be stuck a little, <laughs> but um, I believe that this is normal from the little bit of internet research I've done. Um, it's now over the Christmas period, so the doctor is away. I can't phone and find out. But anyway, I'm sure that in a few more weeks' time, I'll feel like you know a new person, and I'm sure things will even out. Um, well, I hope. <laughs> oh, please, we don't want now one boob sitting up way high. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm fiddling and looking at my hair because. I've just had my hair done today, my roots touched up, um, so that, anyway, you know me, fiddling with my hair. My hair is my other obsession, um, besides my latest one, which is my boobs, <laughs> of course. Um, so yeah, I think what, what during recovery, you've got to expect things to happen differently between the two boobs, because each side is different, and like the one website said, um, you basically have had two separate surgeries, although the surgeon's going in at one time. But he has to cut, insert, that's one surgery, cut, insert, that's another surgery. So it's like two surgeries you've had. And like I said, this left side, maybe it was something to do with a particular nerve they hit. I, I don't know what the reason is, but this side has been quite sore, especially at the end of the day. This arm, I can hardly lift, okay, now I can lift it better. But by the end of the day, it's quite sore and I can barely sort of use it. Whereas the right side is, sure, it's like great. And oddly enough, the right boob was my smaller boob, and I thought that one would be the tighter, harder one to, and because this muscle should be tighter, go figure, I don't know why it's healing up more um, quicker. Anyway, just thought I'd share that before I forget about that part of the experience, and I've still got my micropore tape on. Um, I haven't actually been putting any moisturizer on because I don't know what's safe yet. The scars haven't actually, um, well, they're scabbed, they haven't scarred yet. So I don't know what's safe to put there. I've just got the tape holding the skin together. But I will definitely try and find some kind of a scar cream, something that's safe for them. And I will add that on. Sorry, I keep fiddling with my hair. I've noticed when I watch these videos back. And it's quite distracting. I must stop that. Um, yeah, so thanks. And once again, like I always say, you're more than welcome to leave a comment if you want to. Um, even if it's months down the line that you end up seeing the videos. Because I remember when I wanted to get my boobs done, I had so many questions. And I must say, you know, you get the breast implant forums, which are great. They are helpful, but it's so much nicer to just hear about someone's experience. So ask away and I'll try and answer. Um, but I think most of the questions are answered in the videos. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi, everybody. And um, this is my four-week... Um, post-op breast augmentation update and uh, there's just a few things that I wanted to um, remember to say so I've actually written them down this time so don't forget otherwise I always like to add in oh I forgot that I forgot that um, the first thing to say is that uh, yeah for the first time last night I actually slept on my side and not that I haven't been allowed the doctor said from two weeks I could sleep on my side but um, it just hasn't been comfortable like as I turn there's been a bit of pain on the sides. Um, oh, I guess you're dying to just see how they're looking now at four weeks. There, just slow. They're still um, a little swollen here. Oh, they've got to settle down. Um, but looking a lot more natural. And um, what else can I say? Oh, one of the things I wanted to mention is that it's getting better now, but um, sort of from about, well, I don't know, from the beginning, really. Um, but sneezing has been very painful. Only now can I tolerate sneezing. Um, now at around four weeks, I say the movements of, well, basic movement is getting a lot easier. So um, I am able to do quite a lot more. I do pick up my child quite a lot now. 
Um, driving is all right. It was a lot. Well, it was quite painful the first time. Um, I guess you know it's always just that muscle getting used to things. And um, this left breast is still. Let's just see here. It's still slightly higher here than my right one. I think it's opposite in the in your view, but it's getting there. It's settling down, but. <coughs> The left breast was always my bigger breast, so it will be a slightly bigger because we put the same size implants in both. Um, what else? Let's just talk about my asymmetry because the doctor said he wasn't going to, he was just going to put the same implant in both breasts and I had one nipple sli slightly lower than the other. So the left nipple is still slightly lower, but not by much because what he's actually done is Im improved the symmetry. What a great doctor he is by actually just making the creases the same because the left breast um, before my boob uh, job the crease was slightly lower than on my right breast being the smaller breast this was nat my natural breast so now my two creases are even you can't really see in the bra I mean I'm not going to really go that far but the two creases are now even so maybe that's why this one is still a little higher here maybe there's a little bit more volume there but I'm sure that will drop down over time and um, my scars haven't actually, well they haven't, the scabs haven't come off yet. I've still got the micro pull tape on them, so um, yeah, I'm just leaving it as the doctor told me to. And let me just consult my list on what else I wanted to say, hold on. Let's see here. Oh yes, what I wanted to mention was, um, I've been talking in the earlier weeks about feeling like I was hunching the whole time. Um, I think now as these pec muscles are slowly starting to relax, um, I can just put my shoulders back naturally again. So the, the hunching has improved and the doctor did say that hunch, that hunching feeling was normal. Um, so it's just nothing to worry about if you feel that way as well. Um, one of the oddest <laughs> things that no one's mentioned on any of the breast augmentation vlogs before is that because you battle to lift your arm when you've had them done, I don't know whether if you don't go under the muscle whether you have this or not, but I battle to lift my arm so it's quite hard to shave because you can't straight, like I still can't straighten my arm fully back yet. I always used to be able to, but so I can't quite get a straight armpit to shave in. So what I've been doing is instead of trying my hardest to lift my arm, I've done that and then I've just pulled the skin with my thumb here to reach it with the razor because shaving has actually been harder than I thought which is just something <laughs> no one's mentioned before um, let's see what else overall yeah by now by week four things are feeling pretty good um, still not back as you can see to full range of motion just yet but yeah I've got another two weeks of healing left and let's see yeah the pain medication I haven't been taking anything since two three weeks and um, post-op I haven't needed to really um, yeah and just a tip uh, you know for sleeping on your back obviously in the beginning I find raising my head slightly with extra pillows helped a lot for some reason it was just more comfortable and yeah otherwise everything's going really really well with the boobs um, what is what is the word I'm looking for? That just like the doctor said, this part here, from the crease to the nipple, this part of skin needs to stretch a bit to create space for the boobs to to go down. So that's what I'm basically waiting for. It's just for them to settle in and feel like my body. They don't still feel like a part of me just yet. Um, I'm not really allowed to be wearing this bra, but it just gives a better view on how they're looking. Um, so yeah, you shouldn't actually be wearing an white bra. I'm still uh, living basically in the sports bra, sleeping, breathing, living in it. Um, and just the last tip just before I go is um, I do find that because my incisions are right in the crease and the sports bra also has an elastic that sits right there, um, what I do is I just take a bit of cotton wool for padding, especially at night, so I don't know why it hurts more, and I just pad around the incisions with cotton wool under that elastic so that helps quite a bit and I believe you're allowed to do that um, so yeah any questions feel free to ask me down below and otherwise I'll do a six week update and that's it thanks everybody bye